White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby says Ukraine's forces have made notable progress in their offensive against heavily entrenched Russian troops in the south. CBS's Deborah Pata traveled to the eastern front lines for a rare look at the use of cluster munitions supplied by the United States. We're heading to a secret hideout deep in this forest near Liman. We're bunkered down with Ukrainian troops not far from the eastern front line where Russia is putting them under intense pressure in a bid to stretch their resources. Moscow wants to force Ukraine to bolster its defense here by siphoning off soldiers from its counter-offensive in the south. A couple of weeks of very huge combat here. Outnumbered and outgunned, Commander Simon Solotenko and the men of the Bogan Brigade have been up all night fending off another Russian assault. We have to keep on fighting or we die. And morale high? We're holding our line. It is difficult. I can't say that our morale is uh, on the top, but we are standing. One thing that is making a difference are these. The controversial U.S.-supplied cluster munitions, which sometimes fail to explode, endangering civilians long after a war is over. But artillery commander Musi Khan says they are crucial because they can cover a wide area using only one shell. He directs a strike from their control room. Russian positions are in the firing line. One cluster, one shot is the order. Understood, replies the gunner in the field. For these men, the moral dilemma of using a weapon banned in most countries is simply not up for debate. And these soldiers tell us the dud rate is very low, claiming it's almost 100% successful. Major? Deborah Pata, thank you.